brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi everyone, I'm Don from 1AAuto.com. In this series of videos, we're going to be focusing on vehicle diagnostics and maintenance tips. We hope that you find it helpful, and when you need parts for your car or truck, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to do a compression test. You're probably asking yourself, why would you ever need to do a compression test, and that's a good question. The reason B is if your vehicle has a misfire, um, check engine light that's associated with a misfire, it just doesn't appear to be running correctly, uh, and you've ruled other things out. Uh, also, if you're doing a pre-purchase inspection on the car and you want to just get an overall idea of the internal health of your engine, that's when you do a compression test. Some of the tools you'll need are definitely a compression tester. You'll need a socket wrench, various extensions depending on how it is to get to your spark plugs, the appropriate spark plug socket size, whether it be 5 eighths or 13 sixteenths. And you can see on our car that we're gonna perform the test on here, that it doesn't have an engine cover, so we don't need any extra tools to get any fasteners off that way. But again, yours might be different. V8's mounted this way, might have engine covers or need swivels and different extensions to get to those spark plugs, um, as well as any V6's that might be mounted this way that have the engine covers on them. So there's a couple different ways that this can go. This vehicle has spark plug wires with a distributor. More modern cars have individual ignition coils. So in this case, the first thing that we're gonna do is remove these spark plug wires, and then you're, if you have ignition coils, you would just simply unscrew them, disconnect them, and pull them out. So we're gonna pull these out, and then just to be safe, we're going to disconnect our distributor. So if you have a distributor, go ahead and disconnect it. So that way, when you're cranking the car during the compression test, you're not getting spark. So the next thing you want to do is locate your fuel pump fuse, or if you can't locate that, then the fuel injector fuses, and pull them. They could be under the hood, or they could be in the um, cabin compartment. So grab your owner's manual, locate those, pull them. What you don't want to do is be cranking the car and having uh, fuel being sent into the cylinders washing it out. In this car, our fuse panel with the fuel pump is right here. Go ahead and pull it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use my ratchet extension socket to remove all four of the spark plugs. And go ahead and drop your compression tester in and screw it in until it gets tight. Not too tight though that you crush the rubber seal on it. So now going to the tool here, it's in place and it's ready to go. Um, just a little background here, this is going to test compression in each cylinder uh, one at a time in pounds per square inch. Uh, in general, we want to be between 140 and 160 pounds per square inch. And what you're going to need to do is look up the correct figure for your vehicle uh, and that way you'll know if you're in the right range. Alright, so I'm going to hold the gauge while I have Paul crank the car. He's going to crank it for about four or five seconds. So as it turns out, we've got great compression on this cylinder, about 160, uh, this is good. What we're going to do now is use the decompression and we're going to unscrew it and move on to the next cylinder. We're going to write down the number that we have on the first cylinder so that we can compare it to the rest. All right, so now we can go over the results. Our first cylinder had 160, second 150, third 150, and fourth 150. And as long as there isn't a deviation of more than 10% between any cylinder, it's good to go. And now go ahead and put your fuel pump fuse back in. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet.
please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.